Season 8 arrives in 10 days. The Skeleton Curse new images and more have been revealed. Alright, we have a fair few things to unpack in this video. Let's kick things off straight away. Now, most of this is on Twitter, so let's head over there. First off, Sea of Thieves tweeted, waiting for Season 8 news like. Now, this is doesn't seem anything too abnormal, but then they attached this image. A skeleton sitting in a chair. This is further confirmation of a skeleton, because we obviously had the video earlier in the month, or not early months, just at the end of October, Halloween, we got the video of the three different skeletons. This is confirming even more. If you don't believe there's a skeleton curse coming, and sorry folks, but, but you've, been, you've been blinded by something, because this is they're just teasing left, right, and center this skeleton curse. Point is, it's coming, and I mean, you could argue it's not, but it's confirmed, okay? It's, it's, it's confirmed. A nice little detail to note as well is that in the cage pet case, we'll put a skeleton pet there, pretty nice in general. In another tweet, they said Sea of Thieves Season 8 begins on November 22nd. Tune in at 4pm UTC next Friday, November 18th, to see the premiere of the Season 8 content update video, following the live results reveal of our current decision point adventure, Return of the Damned. And they attached a cool image which we'll go into in a second. First off, this is extraordinary. A, it's beginning in 10 days, which means we haven't really had actual confirmation of that, because in game, sure, we can see the counter, but generally speaking, they would really hype Season 8 up, so we're out of the blue. 10 days to go until Season 8. That's humongous. Finally, the drag of captaincy is over. As they said, next Friday at 4pm in the UK, November 18th, we'll see the premiere of the Season 8 content update video. This surprises me that they're doing this in the same stream as Return of the Dam. Normally, they put the content update out on the Monday before the update. That being said, next Friday is the Friday before the update, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. But I'm looking forward to that. That's going to certainly be really exciting. But not only that, we're going to see the results of the current decision point. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Now, we'll go into that in a second because they've released some information on who's winning on that. But first off, this image. The text obviously says, the battle begins, and we know that this is a PvP-based update. To recap all the evidence that we know about Season 8 so far, if you're not up to speed with it all at the moment, Season 8 is going to be a way to get PvP on demand. It's going to be absolutely incredible, and it's going to do it in an immersive way. They also said that there's going to be two new captaincy alignments being introduced. Who knows what these will be for, but presumably PvP, because people have requested PvP alignments since Captain released. It's a really makes us question why it wasn't introduced in the first place anyways. Season 8 will also introduce some of the best rewards ever, in Joni's own words, and some of the best environment works ever. Which means there is new locations, which is phenomenal. I'm so excited to see that. It's rare that we do get new locations in Sea of Thieves, because it's hard to add them, but whatever they are, hopefully they'll be very big. Mike Chapman said that when he was looking at the artwork and the environment work, he said it's like a kid in a sweet shop. You can see the journey of the past five years in this new work. And Season 8 will be scratching a really big itch that players have. So it seems Season 8 is shaping up to be really awesome. Now, we've actually managed to get Season 8 back on track, because originally it looked like it was going to be December, but now it is sort of late November. You could argue mid, but mainly late November. But they are slowly getting their seasons back on track. Before we move back to the image, as I was reviewing that recording just there, I saw on Twitter, and then I realized this, November 22nd is a Tuesday release. They normally release their updates on Thursday, perhaps this is so they can give themselves time to stabilize the serves for the weekend. It's a bit weird, but a Tuesday release is very unusual from Rare, that's something they haven't done in a while. Originally, throughout the whole course of the game, it's been a Wednesday, then they changed it to a Thursday, and for the first time ever, they're having a Tuesday release, pretty interesting to know. Anyway, let's go back to the image then. Obviously, it's a shipwreck, presumably a player ship, and for once, there's not a lot we can actually decipher about it. It's a sunken wreck. What I will say, though, is I'm presuming this is just for marking, because no way is that a player ship and all that's happening. So, either it's for marketing or it's a shipwreck and the shipwrecks come in, I don't know. Point is, there's not a lot we can decipher from this image, but interestingly enough, 
in the content updates, they never really have text on screen like this. So I reckon this will be from another promo video or something. What I do want out of this stream as well is a cinematic trailer. Because they do it for like all these pictures. Why don't they do it for a season? They did it for season 7. Season 6 they could have had one. I mean, why don't we get a cinematic for The Legend of the Veil? Vale? I mean, come on, no, that was awesome. For a season, I feel we should get cinematic trailers because they just, they are so incredibly awesome. I mean, season 3, I know it was Tall Tales, but that was an incredible trailer. Anyways, we'll see. Before we move any further, I just want to say I've reached 10,000 subscribers and whilst I've made a whole separate video about that which I'll link in the top right now, I just want to remind everyone that there are two giveaways happening. The first is a CFD's vinyl giveaway for submitting a screenshot or video of you helping Team Pendragon in the return of the Damned Adventure, closing on 17th of November, and the second is a custom CFD's wanted poster giveaway sponsored by the amazing Prism posters, lasting until the 24th of November. Prism are an amazing company, all the links will be down below and they're perfect for Christmas gifts as we start to think about them. They do a range of CFDs posters like this one, but also all parts of culture and they're really good prices. This one is for submitting an image of your ship. Entries will be judged by Chris Marlowe, Principal Gameplay Engineer working on Sea of Thieves. There'll be more information down below along with all the links to both giveaways and forms so you can submit entries. Additionally, I'm also going to be live on YouTube today at 4pm GMT for a special 10,000 subscriber chat control the stream live stream. More details can be found in the description and pinned comment down below. Alright, back to the video. The final part of this video is a return of the damned because we have received updates on how things are going. And as you might be able to expect, as of it was last Thursday, but as of so a couple days ago, two, three days ago, Flameheart is winning. Now, they didn't give us percentages, which could mean one of two things. Well, one of three things, really. The first is that Pendragon is so far behind that they don't want to tell us because it'll demotivate us. Number two, they just don't want to give us the stats for whatever reason. Or number three, they're both really close together and someone at Rare think it'd be really funny if no one's playing the adventure and actually one bewitching doll could change the cause of the whole thing. Anyway, Flameheart does currently command the ritual as of November 10th, so we'll see who's going to win. We'll see who's going to win. But anyways, that does just about bring us to the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. While you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. Anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.